Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, I was asked to have a look at the new rocket boosters that are coming into the game, or the takeoff rockets, like uh, I like to call them. These are present on the Kicker, the IL-28, and the TU-14T. So what I've done here is I've recorded the all of the aircraft taking off with the rocket boosters, and also the possibility of if you want to not use them to take off and maybe use them later on. So we start off with the kicker, it is pretty simple. Uh, the rocket boosters are placed on either side of the fuselage under the wings and you use them to gain a bit of speed on takeoff. Obviously the boosters themselves do not last for a very long time but they give you that initial kick to get you up in the air. It's actually really nice uh, to be honest, it just makes um, taking off a hell of a lot easier. This isn't similar to the other rockets that we've had, especially on the ME-262s. The ME-262s, uh, which have the rocket boosters, they last for a hell of a longer time than the ones which are present on these new aircraft. So here is the kicker, and this is the takeoff without the rocket boosters. What you'll find is it's incredibly slow. Uh, my kicker is stock, I've never actually used it, so take that into account as well. Uh, but both uh, recordings are done on the same kicker, <laughs> let's just say that. But as I said before, maybe you don't want to use these takeoff uh, rockets as to take off. Maybe you want to use them in a much more offensive and defensive role while you're in the air. Well, unfortunately, with the kicker, you're not really allowed to do that. So the reason for this is because the rockets get in the way of the gear legs actually coming up. So if you don't use the rockets on takeoff, you uh, have the gear legs uh, which can't close. So you'd have to use the rockets even in the air to be able to close your gear legs. Now if you want to be a hardcore and just break off your gear legs and keep the boosters, then yes, you can do that. I don't think this is a great idea though. But as you can see, I'm trying to open the, uh, I'm trying to put up the gear and you see that little message at the bottom there basically telling me that I can't do that. So I have to use the boosters before I'm allowed to put up my gear. Uh, so I use them, and the the uh, the look of them, I wish it was a little bit better. The flames themselves don't look great in my opinion, they just look kind of uh, not very nice. I understand that flames got a massive rework like maybe two years ago now. It would be nice with this new Dagor engine, with everything looking so good, to get an upgrade on that as well. So let's go on to the IL-28. The IL-28 and the TU-14T are seen as two aircraft which probably need them the most over the kicker. So you get two massive ones, once again in a very similar position to the kickers, apart from they are angled now towards the ground, meaning that they give you lift at the same time. And it's kind of interesting, when they stop going, you actually get, you know, uh, your, your plane actually feels like the rockets stop working, you know, as if an engine just uh, stopped working suddenly. It's kind of a nice little thing, it makes the plane wobble a bit, it makes all this go, it's nice. Uh, at the same time, if you do have to map a control button to this, so what you have to do is go into your options and... Uh, map it to a key. I personally have it to my delete key on my numpad. The reason for this is because it's out of the way. Generally you're not going to use it that much uh, so it doesn't really matter. So this is where it kind of gets interesting. I'm in the IL-28 and I don't want to use the rocket boosters uh, for takeoff. Now obviously from 0 to 200 uh, that is where you're going to be doing the most acceleration and Generally, using the boosters will help you uh, with that, taking off, being able to get into the air. But what if you decide that you don't want to do that and you want to use them in a combat situation? The way I see it is if you're toddling along in the aisle 28 and somebody is trying to gain on you, maybe you can use the boosters in a defensive way to try and get away from them to uh, give your gunners maybe one or two seconds more to be able to uh, kill them. Now obviously, uh, if you are on the airfield and you have a lot of people around you uh, in the enemy team or maybe you have a situation where you have a short runway, maybe you won't be able to do that, maybe you have to use these boosters. But if you're not in that situation, then yeah, 
Now I'm showing here the functionality, so you can still use the Bombay doors with the uh, rockets on it. So you can also put up your landing gear, so in all intensive purposes on the IL-28, you can just have these rockets on at any time if you feel like it. I don't know if they cause extra weight to the aircraft while it's going along, if that's modeled in, but there you go. You can activate them in the air. They once again don't last very long, so they're going to have incredibly limited use to uh, what you can actually use them for. But it's still nice to have, and maybe will be something that some people think of. Also, with air spawns on specific maps for these aircraft, that would generally mean that what's going to happen is maybe they have boosters uh, while they're in the air. I'm not sure if that's the case yet. I haven't tested it out, but it'll be interesting to see if that is the case. This uh, video is just to show them in their uh, entirety. So that is the IL-28 and the kicker out of the way, and the way that the TU-14T uh, changes it is you actually get four of these <laughs> under the wings. So the others you've only had two, this behemoth gets four of them, uh, which is nice. I think the TU-14T does need the most help, but the reason for this is because the back of it is so large, uh, taking it off can be a real hassle sometimes. Uh, it feels like the Narval, where you would touch your uh, elevator or rudder on the ground very quickly before you get off the ground. And as you can see, I've actually done it here. The lower profile of the tail is incredibly annoying while trying to take off. So if you're not taking off from a lip or something like that, then obviously there's not really a lot you can do. You're generally just going to knock your tail, which is just annoying at the end of the day. You won't hit your elevator or your rudder. You'll just damage it and maybe kill the gunner. But yeah, the rocket boosters will help a lot with the TU-14T. The other two, uh, I don't see a massive difference with it. The kicker, it's just you have to use them. And the IL-28, I think you definitely have the... Uh, I, I think you definitely have a argument for not using them uh, while you take off and maybe use them while you're in the air uh, in a situation where you need to. Maybe you need to get to a target a little bit quicker. Maybe you need to get away from an enemy a little bit quicker. There's all of these opportunities. And yes, it only gives you a little bit of a burst, but at least it's something. So the TU-14T taking off without these four uh, boosters takes a hell of a long more a hell of a lot more time just because its acceleration is a lot less than the likes of the IL-28 and also the kicker. Obviously the reason for this is well it's just heavy as hell and the engine power is not that much drastic over something like an IL-28. Hopefully uh, in the future, we'll actually see these rocket boosters added to more aircraft. They're definitely an interesting idea. And I thought, well, why not? I mean, surely there are some jets out there which did use them in real life, or at least were um, able to use them in real life when it comes to taking off. But you see, it takes me the whole airfield here just to take off. And that's pretty much because of the lip there that I was able to take off, not because of the fact that uh, I was able to increase my speed enough to get up. So yeah, the rocket boosters I think are definitely going to be required for the TU-14T unless you have it fully upgraded where it should be okay. And there you go. Once again, another angle on these things. So it's not just uh, straight behind or straight up. You do have a little bit of lift going on with them as well and they help a hell of a lot with your acceleration, which is nice. And off they pop. And that's pretty much it. This has the, been the demonstration for the three new boosters or takeoff rockets, whatever you want to call them, that have come to game in War Thunder Updates 1.77. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.